I'll be outlining the key changes to the Fair Work Act, which have been implemented under the recently passed IR Omnibus Bill as they relate to casual employees. The changes have brought about much needed clarity to the status of casuals in Australia, and we'll finally have a definition in the Fair Work Act. The Act will now define a casual as one who accepts an offer of employment which makes no firm advanced commitment to continuing an indefinite work. As an employer, you need to ensure that you're across with each of these changes. They've already commenced. They commenced on the 27th of March. Top takeaways are, number one, your offers of casual employment and your casual employment contracts need to be drafted in a way that makes it clear that the employee is a casual in line with the new Fair Work Act definition. Secondly, unless you have reasonable business grounds not to, you're required to offer to convert casual employees to part-time or full-time employment after 12 months if those casual employees have worked a regular pattern of hours in the previous six months. Thirdly, you're now protected from casuals double dipping on entitlements. This change comes as a big relief, as we were concerned in the face of the work pack against Rosato decision from last year, that there was a risk that employers were going to have to back pay significant amounts of money for leave entitlements to casuals who'd already been paid a loading, but who were subsequently deemed to be permanent employees. And fourthly, you must give your casual employees a copy of the Casual Employment Information Statement, which is soon to be published by the Framework Ombudsman. You need to give that either before the casual commences employment or as soon as reasonably practical after commencement. Just one point to note, if you're a small business employer, some of these changes will impact you differently. We're publishing an article soon, um, which will explore each of these changes in a bit more detail. So keep an eye out on LinkedIn for that article. And feel free to comment below or get in touch if you need assistance on this or any other HR topic. Thanks again for joining me and I look forward to tuning in again next month.